Hey everybody, real quick camera phone quality video here just because I wanted to share this um, and I knew I wouldn't get around to it if I waited till I had everything set up. So this is just a, a project that I threw together. Um, I didn't design this. The design comes from uh, Mark 14 on the Glowforge forum. So definitely all credit to him for doing that. And the controller in this is Ben Henke's Pixel Blaze which I would highly recommend if you're doing any sort of uh, LED strings or matrix or even 3D type of stuff. So uh, I put that in there and it actually it lets you write JavaScript code and as you write it, it up uploads it in real time. So you can, it's very easy to like tweak the thing and see what happens. Uh, awesome, awesome way of doing it. I also really love the way that it sort of, it doesn't, um, the, the, the API sort of gives you each pixel one at a time and lets you stream it out rather than having to create uh, a big array that you hold everything in, which uh, can eat up a lot of memory for larger panels. So that's cool. Anyway, so this is a, a laser cut enclosure, obviously. Um, and inside of it is one of these relatively inexpensive WS2812 flexible LED panels that you can bend into a cylinder, as long as you don't bend them too many times, they bend relatively well. Um, yeah, and then some some uh, pixel blaze code to run it. So uh, the stuff that comes with it as examples works pretty well, uh, even though it's not aware of the fact that it's a 2D matrix. So these are really nice designs. Um, some of them, like these, this is one of my favorites, uh, does come with it. and and it uses the 2D mode, so it's aware of, of the matrix, and you can kind of give it a mapping as to where your pixels are. Uh, another good 2D one here. Really like that. Uh, and then I made a couple myself just to kind of learn how the thing works. So this is one I'm kind of calling rain, rain effect. Um, and this one is wanderers. You see the little pixels kind of wander around randomly. Uh, yeah, and then I, I tweaked one of the ones that it comes with to kind of look better in a two-dimensional thing. So I'm really liking how this worked out. Uh, absolutely love the Pixel Blaze board and this design from the Glowforge forum. So uh, grabbed a bunch of these from, from AliExpress. So I have them in my parts bin for future projects. And I'm looking forward to playing around with them some more. That's all. And I will make some more videos. I just uh, haven't had a lot of free time or energy to work on projects, but I'm getting back into it. That's all. Bye.